I'm Tori Cooper. Here are some of the stories making headlines locally. Today is the big game we have all been talking about, and fans are packing Atlanta, anticipating the showdown. Today's game will feature the experienced Patriots versus the up-and-coming Rams. L.A. is coming off a huge win on the road against the Saints, beating them 26-23 in overtime of the NFC Championship game. In the AFC Championship game, the Patriots beat the Chiefs 37-31 in overtime. Patriots quarterback though Tom Brady is looking to win his sixth championship ring. Kickoff is at 3.30. And in an effort to flag those who choose to drive impaired after the big game, BPD will increase patrols today, adding additional officers to look for drivers suspected of driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. BPD will also be conducting a DUI saturation patrol tonight between the hours of 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. But we are going to switch gears now and check in with Emma Lockhart, who has a look at your forecast outside. Yeah, we do have that good air quality thanks to that rain that we got yesterday as well as those strong wind speeds. So 38 as that AQI again today. No restrictions, but burning is discouraged. As for those temperatures, we are in those low 60s across the valley floor, 63 in Bakersfield. And some of those breezy conditions are con going to continue, but not nearly as strong as yesterday, as well as those scattered showers this morning through this afternoon. As for our mountain communities, 43 in Fraser Park, 48 in Tehachapi, 53 in Lake Isabella. Some of those mountain winds reaching 25 miles per hour. Breezy out in our deserts with some of those desert winds reaching 30 miles per hour. But those temperatures in those low to mid 50s in most areas reaching those 60s in Ridgecrest. But we do have a winter weather advisory that's going to start at 4 p.m. today and last until Wednesday at 4 a.m. So this final system is going to be moving in tonight. It's going to dip those temperatures as well as that snow level bringing more snow to our mountain communities and possibly reaching past level by Tuesday. But for now, 63 as that high here in the valley, dipping down to those 40s overnight, those breezy conditions tomorrow, as well as those rain chances through Tuesday. Looks like conditions will start clearing up on Wednesday here in the valley, but those temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, reaching those upper 50, 40s, I should say, and then those 50s return. That's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update for you later today.